What's going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Get some juicy stories and everybody likes juice as long as it's not too sugary. So let's get into the news. First story is about the Galaxy S8. Evan Blast, who's a huge leaker, I talk about him all the time. He has got in a screenshot of the sign up page to learn more about the Galaxy S8. It says unbox your phone. Sign up below to be among the first to know about the next Galaxy. Now the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus should launch April 21st, and right now it's about February, what, 24th, 25th. So the uh, sign up page should launch fairly soon. If I had to guess when it would launch, I would probably sometime after Mobile World Congress is what I would expect. So I would expect maybe the very end of uh, February or the first week of March, or it might even be March 29th at the unveiling of this phone officially so sign up page coming but if you wanted to see what it's going to look like that is what it's going to look like next up about the galaxy s8 as we know there's going to be two versions of it there'll be an international version and then another version that has a snapdragon uh, 835 in it and they broke down the two processors side by side their specs and there's actually a couple of things that are kind of interesting let's check it out so the two processors going to head to head in the two Galaxy S8, S8 Plus versions is the Exynos 8895, which is made by Samsung and the Snapdragon 835, which is created by Qualcomm. So they're both octa-core 64-bit CPU cores. They also use 10 uh, nanometer uh, FinFET processes. Display resolution, they can both display at 4096 by 2160 at 60 frames per second. The other interesting thing that I saw on here, uh, statistically speaking, is the video recording. The Exynos can record in up to 4K at 120 frames per second, whereas the Snapdragon 835 can only record at 4K at 30 frames per second. They can also handle Bluetooth 5.0, which is uh, not on any phones currently, but it looks like it hopefully will be on the new Galaxy S8 since both of these processors can handle it. Other than those specs, we actually need to get these phones in hand to really decipher which is the better processor of the two. They both look like crazy uh, powerful processors to have. I don't think either person that has either an Exynos or in a Snapdragon 835 will end up being disappointed in these very high powered processors. And our last story of the day is about an exploding iPhone 7 Plus, Brianna Olivas posted a video the other day on Twitter and some pictures about her phone exploding. Just randomly, I guess, was charging. Her boyfriend took it off the charger, put it on the counter, and he saw from this corner of his eye that it was smoking up, and eventually it exploded. He put it in the bathroom and all that. Pretty crazy, and now Apple's investigating the root cause of this. They've given her a replacement iPhone 7 Plus in the meantime, but as to why this has been caused, I know I, they have no idea, and I can only imagine what it would be. Obviously, we know batteries like that they, that they use in these phones are potentially um, hazardous and can catch fire and explode. Obviously it happened with the Note 7 and it's happened with other phones in the past, but we will keep our eye on this story. Hopefully we'll get some more information very quick, but a exploding iPhone 7 Plus, what is that all about? Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I put a new video out every single day. Quest for 20K giveaway. We're getting super close. We're about 1,100 subscribers away. Let's get there before March 15th. Share my videos on your social media. Tell your family. Let's do it. My question of the day. What do you think about the iPhone 7 Plus exploding? Do you think that's legit? Do you think they messed with it? Well, let me know in the comments down below. I kind of think it's real. I will see where, how it turns out, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's real, I think it's a real exploding iPhone 7 Plus, and I'm very interested to see what happened. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. My product of the day is the GGMM E5 speaker. It's got a built-in Alexa, it's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, you can use other apps like Spotify and uh, Tidal and a bunch of other music apps, and it's really cool, sounds really good, it's really loud actually, and it's really thin. It's a very interesting speaker. It goes for like 129. So if you want to check that speaker out with built-in Alexa so you can ask it questions and have it do certain smart things in your house, 
this speaker can do it. Check it out, I'll link it in the description down below. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend. I will see you down the road. Peace.